Okay, so I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in shade 140 and the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation in shade 15 Porcelain. And I'm just dotting this over my face and blending it in with a beauty blender. I don't worry too much about my forehead because you can't see it anyway. Then going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in shade light under my eyes just to warm them up a bit. And then using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in shade 1 Fair uh, just to go over that area. And then I'm powdering my face with the number 7 Translucent Loose Powder with the powder puff that comes with it. After powdering my face, I go into brows and I'm using the NYX Brow Gel in shade Espresso. And then with an angled brush, I'm going into the Mon Renaissance palette in shade Warm Taupe and just filling in my brows. This is probably the thing that takes me the most time just because I like to get them perfect. Um, but I like them to have slightly fluffy edges, that's why I use powder rather than a pencil or a gel. I then go in with the Real Techniques concealer brush and some of the collection concealer and just tied up any edges. The mirror is below, that's why I'm always looking down as well. And then going back into the Modern Renaissance palette and using the paler shade in the palette uh, Tempura and just using that all over my lid. I'm then going back into Warm Taupe and running this all the way over my eyelid. Focusing it mainly in the crease as well. I'm then going into the darker shade which is called Cypress Umber which is a really dark brown and I'm just running this underneath my eyes with a flat brush. Once I've done this I'm going to shade Railgirl which is a dark orange and I'm just blending out that brown underneath my eyes and I'm also going to put it in the outer corners on my lid as well. I also like to just run it further in my eye as well. You only notice when you watch yourself doing these things, the weird faces you pull when you're doing your makeup. Okay, and then I'm then going into shade Primavera, which is a shiny gold. I'm just putting that on the inner section of my eyelid. Just using my finger. I'm then going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Highlighter Palette and I'm using shade Forever Lit as inner corner highlight. This is like a white highlight with pinky specks of glitter in them. And then going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm using a mixture of shade Sombra and Shadow Play to contour my face. I'm just using a Real Techniques brush to do this. And then going back into the highlighter palette and using the shade Forever Young, which is a pale pink shade as my face highlight and on my nose and Cupid's bow. I'm then using the Max Fix Plus setting spray and I'm now moving on to eyeliner. So I use the Kat Von D Ink Liner in shade Trooper to do my eyeliner. I find this is a bit better than the tattoo liner as the brush is more stiff whereas the tattoo liner can be quite flimsy and quite difficult to use I find. I just start by drawing a line on the outer corner and then working my way inwards. I then use this mascara I got in a birch box. I'll leave it in the description because I'm not quite sure what it's called but I will find out. I love this mascara because it gives you such voluminous lashes and it's got a really really big brush.
I then used the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Smoky Eyes Mascara on my bottom lashes just to finish it off. I also apply this to my top lashes as well just to lengthen them a bit. Um, I'm just removing the foundation on my lips just with a tissue. And then I go in with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in shade Leo, which is a really nice, like, burnt brownie orange colour. Um, it looks better than it sounds, but I really love this lipstick. And then I'm going to sort my hair out because it's a mess. And there we go, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video, let me know if you want me to do another one and I'll try and film it better next time. Thank you!